What's going on guys? Um, starting day three today. I got the Heim joints today. So I'm headed to Lowe's to pick up a piece of one inch inside diameter pipe because uh, that's the size of the, the threaded bung that goes on the inside. Um, a little bit of traffic right now. Looks like they're just doing construction up here. But uh, yeah, I'm headed to Lowe's to get that, you know, maybe two feet worth of pipe maybe you know, if that, and um, I'll head back to the shop and we'll get started. Um, hoping that we can do the uh, A-arms today. I'm gonna make a jig, and then uh, that way they're all identical. So we only gotta make four of them. So I'll catch you guys either at Lowe's or the shop. So thanks for tuning in. I got the pipe I got some more self tappers and I got the bolts for the a arms so it's 10 inches long I'm thinking about making the a arms eight inches wide I think that should be plenty so um I'll see you guys back at the shop all right guys so um marking this marking this template out I got um, 14 and a half inches from the back here through the front of the eyelet so you have you got 14 from in there to the front of the knuckle, which you know it's like out here, and then the tire will stick out like somewhere right here. So the back of the tire should just be just about flush with the frame. So uh, I, you know, I'm just drawing it out, making sure that's you know that's what I want. So um, I'm gonna start bending bending these pieces, and then cutting these pieces for the, the center, and uh, we'll be all set. All right, I got one control arm tacked up right here. Uh, lower or bottom, I mean uh, top or bottom, doesn't matter, it's the same thing until I put the plate for the shock mount. But just to look at it for spacing, you know. It looks like it'll work pretty good. So I'll go get the rest of them all tacked up. I'll put the back piece in. And I'll start making the mounts in the rack form. Alright guys, so I got uh, two sides fully complete. I welded a washer on each side, ground down all the backs. That way it pivots, it pivots real nice. Uh, they're both identical, but this piece is a little bit longer, so I'm going to make this one the lower one. That way when I put the mount in here, I got a little bit more to weld to. Uh, and this is the upper, so I'm cutting pieces at the angle right now. I'm going to drill some holes. I'm going to find the center, mount them all up, and then um, see how it works. You know, see how it pivots. So I'll drill those holes and I'll get it all ready.
Alright guys, so I got this t side all tacked up. Uh, I still gotta make the knuckle, that way they, um, you know, they stay together. But, um, it seems to work pretty good. So, you know, I could, I can have my travel wherever I want now because I didn't, I didn't do the, um, the shock mount yet. But, um, you know, super simple design. You know, stuff that anybody could do at home. You know, the only thing that I have is, um, you know, the tubing bender. You know, but if you wanted to do it, you know, if you wanted to just notch them, you know, like on a 45, you know, you could do the same thing and weld them together. But, um, you know, super, super easy to do. You know, so highly encourage anybody else to do it. But, um, so that's that slide. I think I'm gonna start to make the knuckle now. Just so I can, I could see, you know, how what the finished product will look like. But I'm gonna make both of them at the same time, and then I'll mount the other two tomorrow, I think, on the other side. So I'll get started on the knuckle. All I gotta do is make the piece uh, that holds the spindle, but I'm still waiting to figure out what um, hubs I'm gonna use yet. So I'm gonna wait on that. I'll keep that mocked up, but uh, that works really good. So. both sides pretty identical um, actually where that sits is the spindle will be center of this so from the center of that up 12 because I'm planning on running 22 inch tires is like an inch down from the bottom of the fender so I'm actually pretty good where it sits right there I got the correct spacing with the, uh, the dolly so I'm actually gonna go ahead and start mounting the shocks right there uh, I got these Fox shocks off of a a snowmobile I got them on um, Facebook so I just got to make a bottom mount and then a top mount so I'm gonna start doing that now and you guys can watch me
All right, guys. Um, both sides are pretty good. I'm just gonna cut some pieces to go from here up to here now for bracing. And then I'm gonna put a piece of sheet metal in here for floor. Actually, I already got it cut. I just gotta cross break it and um, notch this, these out a little bit um, just so it fits in there nice and good. And I'll just run some tacks on it. I'm not gonna fully weld it. But after that's in, then I'm gonna put some gussets right here. Just some triangular gussets all around just to stiffen it up. Uh, I'm gonna do that to these too after the fact, like behind here. I'll put in a piece from like, you know, the entire length of here just to weld it all up, just to make sure the mounts are really solid. Um, so yeah, so I'll bend that piece up, I'll cross break it, you guys can watch me do that, and uh, we'll start buttoning the front of this thing up. All right guys, there's the floor. I cross broke it in the middle and then put a bend down on all the edges. That way it, it tacks up nice. I'll put a few tacks underneath it to the floor uh, when I flip it over, but it looks really good. Uh, it fits in there real nice. So, I mean, it's real sturdy, you know. So, that looks good. <laughs> 